Hi guys, this is AC Game. we're back with another video on Council Side. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is taking a look at the 7th of July patch note because tomorrow we are going to be getting a pretty good update. We're going to be getting three new SSR units, well one of them being an Awakening unit. Um, there's also a bunch of new events and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so that you guys don't um, be surprised with tomorrow's update. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Council Side. If you guys don't want to miss out on future counter side video make sure you are subscribed make sure that post notification is on and if you guys find this video helpful and overall useful make sure you click the like button it helps out with the algorithm and it also helps other people find this video okay let's get right into it so 7th of july patch notes um i've already talked about the two new characters that we already know is going to be coming out which is the awakening you know i already made a separate video talking about her talking about how good she is and as well as sarah Fro that's going to be coming out around the same time but there's actually one more ssr character that i haven't actually made a video on um i probably will make a well i will release a video on her later on today uh just before the update goes live but you guys already know that i will be summoning for the awakening you know so that video will be coming tomorrow as well as my summoning videos for self i'll probably do that within the same video um because i don't have that many resources saved up at the moment I wish you guys luck as you guys summon for the Awakening Yuna. She is a very, very OP character and PvP is going to be absolutely easy if you have this unit. Um, so yeah, let's go down to what other stuff are going to be coming out. The skill description that has been given over here. But if you guys saw my video, you already know what she actually does. So new um, event episode will be coming out. Great Witch Legacy. So this is because of the um, Yuna coming out. So with the new events, there is going to be a bunch of free resources being given out. Obviously with the event shop as well. Um, I don't think I will make a guide on the event shop because at the end of the day, you just want to clear out the shop. And it's going to be pretty easy to actually do that. So yeah, no reason for me to make a video on that. So the event is going to be going on from the 7th of July all the way to the 21st of July. So that's pretty good. So what can we get in the event shop? We could get some employment contracts so we can get free. Now this tier 6 gear isn't the best tier 6 gear available in a global server however I would still recommend getting it just because if you guys just want to get some cooldown sets um, you can go ahead and try your luck with this gears available however I would definitely not recommend you guys using your golden set binaries on this gear to change this set of uh, these change the equipment sets just don't do that we're just hoping that you get a good equipment set and um, when you get them so yeah we get some employment contracts some um burning hope i'm not really sure that is i'm pretty sure that's some furniture for the dorm system but i might be wrong so you can get evelyn as well now evelyn is obviously one of the best sr units in the game this data that you guys are going to be getting i would recommend just keeping them don't use it to make evelyn obviously if you don't have evelyn you can definitely go ahead and create her but this data so will be useful just in case he gets a rearm in the near near future um it hasn't been confirmed but i'm guessing all sr units will be getting a rearm in the near future so you can save this data for her so some other tier 6 gear some atp calls obviously go ahead and collect them um okay so this is all the items you can get from the store let's scroll down to the other banner that will be coming out so this is it um, this is how she looks like um, limited mission obviously with every new awakening character they will get their own mission where you guys can get some rebate from um, leveling them up with using them in certain content make sure you guys go ahead and do that even if you don't have you know you should be able to do some of these missions over here um, let's go down to the other recruitments which is for seraphol now seraphol is an absolute um, good tanked she's definitely rifle as well i would recommend summoning but there's actually one more character that will come out in the near near future that you guys might want to save your resources for which is ifrit um i will uh, make a video on that later on but yeah this is seraphel this is how she looks like very very nice like i said there is one more ssr character that will be coming out and that is her rab now like i said i will be making a video on her but she's only good in pve uh, pvp content and she is currently a counter to the awakening you know so if you guys are not able to get the awakening you know and you guys are in pvp and finding it's very hard to counter her you can go ahead and summon for the rab but I would definitely say don't because Harab only good in PvP. So if you're free to play players, um, you want to focus on PvE and PvP characters, obviously. Um, there is going to be Ifrit coming out. So if you guys want to know which characters to summon for, whether Harab or Ifrit, my answer will definitely be Ifrit. Now, on release on the KR server and the SEA server, she actually was a battle pass character. So this is something that was changed in the global server. So instead of her being a battle pass character, she became a summonable character straight away. Uh, once again, 
yeah don't summon on this banner so is that it nope there is more stuff coming out in this um update so new operator operator sigma so another op um operator will be coming out we already know kim hana is already a top tier operator but sigma is also a top tier operator as well i probably will make a video on sigma operator as well in the future so definitely subscribe to the channel so that you guys don't miss out on that video very very good operator so new challenge stage act four now act four wow that's actually moving at a very very fast pace right now in the sea server act five is already available i actually just finished act four recently because i didn't really think it was a big deal to clear it at that moment but yeah i managed to clear act four not gonna lie act four is pretty tricky so i might make a guide on act four if you guys want to um if you guys want to know how to beat it um tell me down in the comment section it's going to be pretty hard um but um yeah pretty interesting at the same time new counter case will be coming out for yuna springfield so if you get her um this is the um r version i believe so, um lower beatrix as well this character is going to get a rearm in the future so i would definitely recommend you guys saving her dupes don't use her dupes to limit break her um ingrid Jonah as well coming to the counter case um evelyn as well nice um, very strong SR units that everyone should have built. New skins are going to be coming out as well. Now, I actually bought one of the skins in the SEA server, which is for Seraphel. Seraphel has one of the coolest skins available as well. Definitely would recommend people to buy it if you guys are whales. Um, but yeah, new skins coming out as you can see, four new skins. Oh, Seraphel is at the bottom as well, so five new skins. So definitely top tier skins in my opinion. This is it for Yuna um this is how she looks like let's go down to ingrid who looks absolutely fantastic i actually love this i might actually buy this in the sea server we also have the surfer skin i did buy this it looks absolutely amazing i love the uh, nine tail fox character this is from regina macready i don't like the skin um karen wong um this is a free to play skin that you can buy using quartz if you guys want to get the skin um cindy looper as well getting her own skin um i did not buy this but i'm pretty sure this is also a free skin and there is some halloween themed furniture sets as well if you guys care about the dorm system um this is going to be cool to get uh new packages coming out as well let's skip over that i think that is pretty much it for the new updates new stuff coming for the um global server now tell me down in the comment section if you guys are excited about this new update this is pretty exciting and hype in my opinion stay tuned for my summoning video don't forget to like and subscribe it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out was it the voice was it the fire burning in me all of the noise turned into choirs of harmony